Jess Tory Shaw for Saturday, December 22nd, 2012. And today felt more like winter than really any previous days this month. It was windy, it was cold, but the good thing we have going for us is that we remained dry. And we're looking at dry conditions on Storm Track 12 Live Doppler this evening at around 7 p.m. And we can expect these picture here that you're looking at to remain the same as we're expecting clear and dry conditions tonight. Already seeing these temperatures starting to take a nosedive. We're already into the lower 40s to the upper 30s in some spots and we can expect these temperatures to keep going down. However, we have this westerly wind now and the winds, as you can see by these low numbers here, have become much calmer than what we saw earlier today. So at least if we're going to be going out tonight, we don't have to deal with these blustery winds. This is how cold it's going to get tonight. Overnight lows into the lower 20s in Greenville, Kenansville, and Richlands. Those are usually our deepest inland and low-lying areas. We can expect upper 20s along with our inner banks and the mid-30s along the outer banks as they are closer to that Gulf Stream. So it's going to be cold. Make sure you bundle up and bring in those furry friends because they would really appreciate the warmer conditions. Clear skies are not affecting any airports right now. We're getting the green light all the way from New Bern to Atlanta. So that's good news if you have someone that's traveling. The bigger picture here is that we do have very nice and clear conditions over eastern North Carolina right now. We look up to our New England states. That storm system is now making its way out. We do have some extensive cloud cover that's going to be moving across Texas throughout the overnight hours is going to be moving across Missouri, Arkansas. We're not expecting too much as far as travel delays there. However, the next storm system that we're going to be tracking is in the upper Pacific Northwest. Look at that. We're seeing uh, snow showers in the northern Rockies. We're seeing a lot of cloud cover. and We're also seeing showers in San Francisco. So we're going to be taking a look at our U.S. Uh, flight delays if there are any. I know San Francisco have very minor delays. It looks like it's less than a minute if that. So that's what the storm system is going to be causing for, for us on Wednesday. Now the trip to Grandma's house is going to be fine if you're going to be traveling short periods or short distances but the, on the way back is when we're going to be running into a little bit of trouble. So I'll be able to detail more information there. If you're going to, not going to be flying, if you're going to be driving, we're looking at very nice conditions for your drive tomorrow uh, all the way from Highway 70 to I-20. You may see some of these filtered sunlight, especially if you're going to be traveling on I-95 and I-40. Those thin cirrus clouds is all it's going to be, so you're looking at great travel conditions for sh those short distances. Clear skies is what can we can expect for the rest of this evening into tomorrow morning. It's going to be a cold start if you're going to be getting up early to go to church. By the noon hour, we do, however, warm up into the upper 50s for your Sunday. Some spots may hit the lower 60s. The clouds do start to filter in Sunday evening. You see those high, thin level cirrus clouds, and those clouds will continue to thicken throughout the overnight hours into Monday morning. Now, you see, this is the first storm system. Now, it's a very weak system. As, and it doesn't get to us until after the noon hour on Monday. However, we will start to see and continue to see these clouds thicken up. It gets closer by the noon hour. After the noon hour, we're looking at very scattered showers, uh, light to moderate. We're not expecting any thunderstorms with this system. It's a very weak system, and we're not seeing that much of a temperature drop once the system falls through anyways. Now, that's your Christmas Eve. This is your Christmas Day. We're getting a mix of sun and clouds, and that's going to be uh, the story throughout much of your Christmas Day. And also it's going to be warm. We can see temperatures into the lower 60s in some spots on your Christmas day. And then as we head into Christmas night, we're already seeing some of our southern counties start to see a few light to moderate showers. We're not looking at any thunderstorms for Christmas night. And then there's the next storm system that's going to be moving across our area Wednesday morning. Now this is the system that may give us a few travel problems as we're coming back from friends and relatives' homes because it can put down heavy rain at times. Also, look at this. This is the noon hour on Wednesday. It can also have the potential to produce some thunderstorms, which right now it's Saturday. Now, this is Wednesday, so as far as them becoming strong to severe, that is still uncertain at this time. However, we will alert you to any severe weather threats as we get closer to the middle part of the work week. This passes through. This is when we get a dash of our colder temperatures coming in because there's cold air filtered behind that. 
So Sunday, Monday into Tuesday, your Christmas Eve, including your Christmas Day, we're not looking at any severe weather threats. Monday, you'll be dealing with some of these light to moderate showers. You get a break on Tuesday, and then Tuesday night is when we will start to see effects from this next system. So for your upcoming holiday, you can expect very nice conditions, light showers for your Christmas Eve. Now that's after the noon hour, so hopefully once you get everything done, Christmas Eve morning, then hopefully the light showers won't catch you. We're looking into the 60s for Christmas Eve, and then Christmas Day we'll have sun and clouds above normal, 58 to 62 for your Christmas Day. So hopefully everyone will have a nice and safe holiday. Now the p.m. for your Christmas Day on Tuesday is for your southern counties, around 6 p.m., 7 p.m. Some of our southern counties will start to see some very light showers. Wednesday is when we have the possibility of seeing thunderstorms, mainly that afternoon. So just keep you aware, weather aware, if you're going to be doing any traveling on Wednesday that you may be running into some light showers, the later you wait, Wednesday afternoon is when you will possibly see some thunderstorms, but by Wednesday night, things will start to clear out. So either you get out the door early on Wednesday morning, or you wait to a later, probably towards the evening, toward Wednesday night. That's going to be your best bet. And then we have uh, partly cloudy skies for Thursday and Friday, colder temperatures. We're not expected to get out of the 50s. And then we have a, another chance for rain uh, as your upcoming weekend. So the trip to grandma's house we're only looking at some very light showers if you're going to be traveling on monday now the trip back is when you need to pay close attention to the weather because we would hate for you to get trapped in one of these areas of hard rain so we'll continue to update that on our storm track 12 page on facebook and also our news channel 12 page on facebook but other than that uh, let me track the weather here and look out for you as you enjoy your friends your family and just to enjoy what's per important on uh, Christmas Day. And I'm Storm Track 12 meteorologist Tori Shaw. I hope you have a very Merry Christmas and a very safe one as well. Good night.